can see the really nice view here from uh, the top of uh, Mount Hamilton here at Lick Observatory. Got a lot of telescope domes right here. Over here is the dome for the 36 inch Lick Refractor Telescope. Right here at the edge of the parking lot, big drop off down the mountain. Um, telescope facility were uh, basically donated with, by a grant from James Lick back in the 1800s. Uh, James Lick had been born in uh, uh, Pennsylvania in 1796, uh, made his fortune down in South America selling pianos and doing woodworking and such. Uh, at one point, uh, he decided to come back to the United States in 1848, and that was a good time for him to come back. He had about $30,000 in gold that he had raised in his business in South America. And came to San Francisco in 1848, and what happened in 1849 was the gold rush. Okay. Uh, what happened then was a lot of the people here thought they'd go up and make their fortune in the gold rush, so they sold their land in the Bay Area so they could buy supplies. And the person that bought their land was James Lick. At one point, he owned about half of San Francisco. Of course, uh, Lowell Observatory had. Uh, Mr. Lowell and Lick Observatory is financed by James Lick. Here we have uh, another piece of the media crater, meteorite. Here's one way to do it. If your telescope's too small for a dome, just put some plastic on it. This is right next to uh, the Shane Dome on Lick Observatory. Here we've got the Terrestrial Planet Finder telescope, quite modern, and right next to it, an old home, I guess, from the 18th century. It looks like it has a cement a chimney. And uh, oddball telescope dome there. Termites stop holding hands, this place is going to fall down. Another old astronomy, astronomers' quarters from the 1800s. You can see the concrete chimneys. Some interesting thistles here growing by the side of the road.